All right, so I just finished reading Shane by Jack Schaefer. So I'll talk briefly about the book. So this is a Western. It's set in 1889 in Wyoming. And you have a bunch of homesteaders that are in conflict with the big cattle ranchers. It's essentially based off of uh, the Johnson County War in American history, which is essentially that conflict, homesteaders versus ranchers. You know, people that want to free graze versus the, the people that are settling and whatnot. So um, widely regarded as one of the best Westerns of all time, I'm going to come in and say I think it's a bit overrated. Uh, basic story, you have the mysterious stranger named Shane who becomes friends of the Staritz family, Joe Staritz and his wife Marion and their young son Bob. Now in the movie, Bob, he's like a 10 year old boy um, in the book, his name is Bob. In the movie, his name is Joe. So there are differences in character names between the book and the film. Uh, one of them is Luke Fletcher is the main antagonist in the novel and in the movie it's the Rikers so that's a big difference although there is a gunman that is hired by the antagonist in both the book and the movie whose name is Wilson in the film that character is played by Jack Palance um, Shane when he shows up in the novel he's dressed all in black and he par carries a pair of ivory handled uh, Colts revolvers so in the film he does not wear black at all uh, you know so that's a big difference as well now there's really not a whole lot to it it's a very simple story I think this book is what 160 some pages 168 pages not very long not a whole lot of description as far as landscapes and whatnot so if somebody's used to reading like for instance some of the books that I've just read recently okay by Zane Gray lots of description about landscape and everything you get none of that in here it's basically just the characters and their actions so you don't get a whole lot of description about you know the the decor of the bar or the town or anything it doesn't go into a lot of detail on any of that so I would say at a reading level this really feels like it's young adult like it's it's written for uh, adolescents not that an adult can't enjoy it because obviously lots of people have read it as a piece of literature and enjoyed it but in my opinion I'm not saying I didn't like it I'm just saying it's overrated okay I think I already said that but it's a bit overrated I know that's gonna make a lot of people mad because a lot of people love this book but I don't think that the dialogue in the book is is as good as the film so like I'm comparing it to the film in which one I enjoy better and I do like the movie more so let's get into talking about the 1953 film Shane which stars Alan Ladd as Shane um, and Van Heflin is Joe Staritz and Gene Arthur as Marion Staritz. Their, their son, Joe, in the film is played by Brendan DeWild. And then uh, you've got the gunslinger Wilson played by Jake Palance. And then a character named Chris who is an antagonist in both the book and the film. In the film he's given a last name, Chris Calloway. It's played by famed actor and cowboy Ben Johnson. Uh, I really like the film a lot. A lot, of it has, a lot of that has to do with the cinematography. You've got these majestic mountains in the background. Um, there's just some great acting in this. This is widely regarded as like one of the best westerns okay that's ever been made it's gonna show up on all of your top westerns list and it's really good I think that the uh, that the book alright serves as a good 
framework that they built on top of. I don't think that the book has the has the uh, the character acting like the supporting cast that the movie does. We get a lot of we get a lot more feel for the people that live in this community in the movie as opposed to the book. And I think that's one of the reasons why I really like this a lot more. You know, I mean, Edgar Buchanan's uh, performance in this film. I just think that the screenplay by A.B. Guthrie Jr. really improves upon the novel. So it's one of those rare cases where I do say the movie is better than the book. So that's just my opinion. So don't kill me, all right? But that's just how I feel, having read both, having watched this. I got to say the movie, okay? I think that when you come to the the relationship that's kind of weird between the character Shane and uh, Marion Staritz, kind of like a love triangle thing that, you know, he's not really acting on, but it's there. There's this implied romantic subtext that's going on um, in the in both the novel and the book. I don't think that it's as explicit in the movie. That's one of the things I like is that the movie is much more, it has much more mystery in it. I feel like the book does a little bit over explaining on the background of Shane and his character and I kind of like him just to be a mystery man so yeah that's just my feel all right um i think that the action in the movie as far as the bar fights are concerned and the shooting that takes place when wilson uh blows away and i can't remember the character's name right off the top of my head uh it doesn't matter the well anyways he shoots this guy and it's pretty violent in the movie. That's because the uh, director here, George Stevens, he served in World War II. And when he came back, he wanted to make a realistic depiction. And uh, he said, you know, having seen men get shot and whatnot, that the cowboy movies that had come out previously were very unrealistic. The, the damage that one bullet can do to a man, he really wanted to capture that on film. And so... When um, this character gets shot by the gunman Wilson, played brilliantly by Jack Palance, they tied a rope to him and like pulled him violently. And the sound of the, the gun's discharge with his body getting jerked it has quite a striking effect. You know, it's, it looks very violent because it is. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm going to rate the book a three and a half out of five, and I'm going to give the movie five stars. I love this film. I think it's pretty much a perfect movie. I don't really see too many flaws with it. I mean, I could nitpick it and say maybe, maybe uh, you know, the costume on Shane, I would have preferred him to have been dressed all in black like he was in the novel, but I can't. I can't detract from the movie because there are certain details I don't like. The cinematography in the movie is amazing, and the acting is top-notch. I mean, I really like the scene where they they chop the stump out of the ground. I think that's great. I think that the closing of this film is wonderful. It's ambiguous, the way that Shane is slumped over in his saddle as he's riding up. Is he alive or is he dead? I mean, that's a debate that people are having. I have my own personal opinion on whether Shane is alive or whether he died or not. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments section. Anyways, that's all I got to say about this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day.